Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and to today's video. So today what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be talking about discontinued palettes that I wish were still around because well, let me tell you, you know, some of the best palettes ever get discontinued for no reason or no good reason anyway. Some palettes, I mean, you know, you can't just keep them forever. I understand that, but some of these, I don't understand why they're been, they've been discontinued. I don't get it. I will never understand it, and it boggles my mind. It just boggles my mind. So I've seen other people do this most recently, and it was a while ago that they did this. I saw my friends Rachel Palmieri and Linda from Glitter Fallout do this video. I don't know if they did it as a collab or what, but they both did it and they talked about palettes that they love that were not, that were discontinued, that they wish were still around. So, hello, I'm going to link their channels, by the way, and their videos. So, hi, welcome if you're new. My name is Amy. This is Dolly Mama Beauty. On this channel, I love to talk about eyeshadow palettes. That's my favorite topic of conversation. I mean, look at my eyes. Tell me I'm not a crazy clown. Yeah, I know. But, you know, this is what I like to do. This is me. This is who I am. And I don't play by the rules by any means because I'm 51 and I'm going to rock color and, you know, drag queen makeup until the day that I die because that is what I want to do. And you do what you want to do. You're uniquely you. And I'm so glad you're here today. So if you love eyeshadow palette content, if you love watching somebody that just does her own thing, doesn't really give a rip about what other people think, just the way I think you should do the same, then I think I'm the channel for you. I love to talk about makeup. And I just, eyeshadow palettes is my favorite thing, but I love Bargain Beauty as well. I have series on my channel that I like to do. I love talking about makeup, especially indie makeup, but I do have a few things in here that are not indie per se. But listen guys, I, you know, I have some good ones here. And you're gonna be just, saying to yourself that that is so true they should not have discontinued that so thanks for stopping by today make sure you like this video okay and if you wouldn't mind please watch it all the way through that way i know that you guys watched it all the way through and it helps with my watch time it helps other people see my channel it, it helps youtube promote my video when you like it comment also comment and watch it all the way through so if you can you can if you can't you can't i understand that but you can always play if you're if you're a makeup connoisseur like me you know what these palettes look like you do not need to see them because you know what they look like right especially if you like eyeshadow palettes like i do then you can watch it in the background or you can listen to it and you know or watch do it watch later and whatever watch it when you have time that would be great i would appreciate it thank you so much okay we're gonna get started i'm gonna start with a banger okay now this is a group of palettes, okay? I'm gonna start with the banger because this, this bugs me to no end. Um, the Kaleidos Futurism palettes, okay? I have four of them. I wanted to get the Shishimi City and the, um, the other one. What was it called? Shishimi City and, I can't remember. Anyway, I have four. I have the Astro Pink. The Electro Turquoise is my favorite one. The Cyber Bronze and the Sci-Fi Grey. Okay, listen to me. <laughs> I, I don't know if all of these are discontinued, but just in general, I have to mention them because Kaleidos, what happened to Kaleidos? Like, what happened? Somebody tell me. I don't get it. I don't understand the direction they're going in. It's like they're the indie brand that's meant for the neutral lover. And that's at least how I feel about it right now. And I'm not here for it. Like, I don't like it. I loved and remembered, like, the color stories like this and these Futurism palettes. Quality was amazing. This is the Electro Turquoise. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out why they abandoned this concept and have gone to quads, cool tone quads, neutral quads, quads that are really just kind of like muted colors, or, and they all look the same, like, I don't understand. I don't like it, I don't get it, please. I wish they would bring something back that was colorful. They did the escape pod, they con collaborated with Angelica for the Nebula, Club Nebula palette, which is astoundingly good. And now they're just doing these quads and I'm just like, 
The last thing they did that was colorful or interesting was the Flower Punk palette. I didn't get that one, but anyway. So here's the Astro Pink. I'm wearing this shade right here on my lids. It's one of my favorite shimmers in my collection. I live for this color. I live for it. I love it. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so there you go. Okay, I'm astonished. Okay, I'm going to get off that train because I could rant all day, but I'm not going to because nobody wants to hear somebody complain for 20 minutes. Okay, here we go. The next palette I have is the other palette that's on my eyes. All the mattes that I used on my eyes are from this palette. It's the Surge palette from Blend Bunny. Oh, she had to discontinue this, uh, Maggie did, um, the owner, because these shades were too hard to formulate with the pigments that she needed, the neons. You know, I wish, I wish she could re-release this now and maybe change it just a little bit. Like keep all of the keep these three rows and um, reformulate the shimmers. Take out the um, neons and add another row of shimmers or something like that, and call it Surge Remastered or something. I don't know. I just remember this was this is so epic. I love this. So I have this in my outer corner, this plum shade. I have this in the inner portion of my eye. I have this on the lower lash line. I blended it out with the mint green, and then I used this purple to blend, to bridge, and to blend over that burgundy. <sighs> blend Money is just everything to me. I love this brand. I love this palette. You will see another palette later from Blend Money that, that was the greatest travesty of all time, as far as I'm concerned. Except, yeah, it just was. Okay, here we go. Ta-da, that's the Surge palette. I love this palette. I love Blend Bunny. Okay. Okay, now there was a huge hue and cry over this, and they brought it back, and I don't know if it's on their website or they're bringing it back or it's completely discontinued now, but I can't find it anywhere. This is the Juvia's Place Tribe palette. <sighs> this was so good, and this was one of the first ones they discontinued, and I'm like, what? Why? 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 Why Juvia's Place? Why would you discontinue this beautiful palette? It's so good. Mmm. I miss the Juvia's Place nine pan palettes. I miss them. I love them. I had them all. I've slowly decluttered them over time. I still have a lot of Juvia's in my collection, but it's, you know, it's reducing over time. This one I will not get rid of. I can't. Look how pretty it is. I love the combination of the orange with the green and you got some brown so you could really work all of the shades together. I, I just, it's everything. It's so beautiful and I could not fathom why they discontinued it. Then they brought it back briefly and then they finally just discontinued it for good and I'm just like, no, 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 no. Okay, well, alas, here it is. One last look. Oh. <laughs> I miss you, Juvia's Place. I mean, there are some good releases from Juvia's these days, but they're just not what I want from Juvia's, except for that Afro Galactic palette. If you didn't see my um, palette wishlist video, which I did a couple videos ago, I'll link it. But yeah, I want that one. Okay, let's talk about Nomad. Okay, first palette I want to talk about Nomad. It's my favorite Nomad palette of all time. Now, I've noticed that Felicia and Auntie tend to like keep them around for a year or two and then start to discontinue. Fine, fine, I get it. This one was not around long enough for my liking. This is the Nomad Whistler Snow Lodge palette. This was my favorite palette, I think, or this one in the palette tournament of champions, not last year, but the year before. And uh, I can sing all day the praises of this palette. This is, in my personal opinion, they've done some really great palettes over the course of their history. This is, there's nothing, well, it's going to be, it's going to take something really spectacular to beat this one for the, my favorite. And I love my Nomad palettes. So, I mean, I like them all. So here we go. Like, what, what, what just makes this so appealing to me is the variety of colors and the, and the, and the depth and the shimmer options and the matte options like you have lighter mattes you have deeper mattes 
you have, you know, mostly mid-tone shimmers and a couple of duochromes in here. Like, it really, really is superb. And I wish it was still around. I do. Okay, let's talk about a ColourPop palette that I never understood why nobody talked about this palette. It might have been an Ulta exclusive. I don't know. I got it on the ColourPop website, and I live for this palette. This is the Cabana Club palette from ColourPop. Oh, my God. This is the ultimate vacay palette. Like, you've got the pool blues. You've got the, you know, coconutty shades. You know, just kind of gives me an island vibe. I have another palette from ColourPop that's definitely an island vibe, um, a tropical vibe coming up. But this is just so good. Why nobody talked about this? I can, I will never understand. I, I don't understand. I've done so many looks with this and they always turn out super wicked awesome. I love, you know, that you've got some colorful options mixed with some neutral. That's my favorite kind of palette, a colorful slash neutral palette. I like a half and half palette. I prefer like that or all colorful to all neutral. All neutral is really difficult for me because I always like to incorporate some sort of color in my looks. So if I'm doing a neutral look, I have to be really be in the mood for it. But this is so good. Cabana Club. I love it. I don't know why it's gone. Okay, this one is a damn shame. I know people are going to agree with me on this one. I know you're going to agree with me on this one because this one is just nonsense that it is not permanent in this line. The Sultry Palette from ABH. Now, I just talked about neutral palettes. This is one neutral palette that I can get behind forever and a day until the end of time. I love this palette. Mm. Not my favorite ABH palette, but damn near close, okay? This is so beautiful. So beautiful. I, it, it, it was a limited edition Christmas. It was like a Christmas release. Everybody was like, I want that. If this was released today, it would be bought. People would buy this still. I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand. You've got some cooler tones in here. you got some warmer tones in here. You even got this pop of pink with the bloom shade. The, you know, it's, 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 like, it's like a watermelon-y, like, you know, watermelon candy. Mm -mm. Guys, <laughs> I've used this. This is my most used neutral palette probably by far. I think, with the exception of one other palette in this video, but there you go. Okay, now let's go back to Nomad. Okay, they recently discontinued this palette. I was sad, but it had been around, it, see, this one had been around longer than the Whistler Snow Lodge, okay? But they discontinued it after the Whistler Snow Lodge. I was a little salty about it, but it's okay. This is the Nomad Iceland Fire and Ice palette. Mm -mm. This is so good. <laughs> This is so good. This was one of my first, I think this was my first Nomad palette that I purchased. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this was the first Nomad palette that I purchased. And I was, oh my God. I was like, Lord, have mercy. I got this. Um, it was Orient Express or this one. I got them in the same year. So I'm not 100% sure. But this is so unique and cool. I mean, you do have a lot of blues in here. But you can, you do have some neutral options every time I use this palette. Every single time. It's just an epic experience with the most beautiful result. And it's just astonishing to me. I, 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 I love what Nomad does. I love their color stories. I love the destination theme. I love like the travel theme that they do. And it's just so, so, so good. And yeah, it's... I, every time they release a palette, I'm like, I want to go to that place. Iceland. I definitely want to go there. Okay. Talking about taking Delilah, doing Make-A-Wish for Delilah, and going to Santa's Village in Finland. Felicia. Hello. I know. I know Auntie's finished. So, um, yeah. We're, I'm thinking about doing Make-A-Wish for her to go to, to go to Santa's workshop in Finland. Santa's Village. She, I said, if you could go anywhere in the world, Delilah, where do you want to go? She goes, I want to go to the North Pole. I said, yeah, I knew that. The child is obsessed with Christmas. She rented Polar Express and Elf the other day, and she will not stop talking about Christmas. She's watched Barney's Christmas show. She watches Elmo's Christmas countdown. Listen, the child is obsessed with Christmas, and she's a Christmas baby. She was born right before Christmas. So, yeah. Anyway, Delilah. 
that child, I swear. Okay, now this one, okay, I have, this is, this is, this is a walk of shame palette for me. Here's why. I still haven't used it. I know it's good quality, but every time I open it up, I'm just like, what am I going to do with that palette? That's the Lush Life palette from Colourpop. I do appreciate this. I think I've used a few shades in here. I know I've used this one a few times. Um, the only problem in here for me is there's not a super, super deep, like, matte. There's this blue and this teal. This isn't deep enough for me. If this was deeper, I think I would use this all the time. I love the tones in here. It's beautiful, but I still haven't really used it very much. But I think a lot of people would agree with me. The formula in this was really, really, really good. ColourPop nailed it with this, but they discontinued it. And I'm like, sir, ma'am, what the heck, Shrek? I'm like, no, that's not. Why? Why, Lord, why? Okay, there you go. All right, now, my number one palette of 2023. Number one. Hi, ma'am. You want to come here? No. Ma'am, you want to come here? Come on. She's coming over. It is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day belated to you all. I'm filming this on Mother's Day, so I hope you had a pleasant Mother's Day. Get over here, child. Come on. I can't. No, just come here. Just come here. Come in here for a second. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Hi, I'm going to be in the video today. Yeah, you're in the video right now. I'm so happy that you're my daughter. I love being your mom. Yeah, can I film a video with you now? You want to film with me now? Okay, so here, have a seat. Okay, I need you to be careful. You got to sit on this knee. Okay. All right, so you're going to help me. Now, <laughs> okay, so my, you're going to you're going to be my assistant, okay? My favorite palette of 2023, hold it up. The Sugar and Grunge, hold it above your face, just kidding. Okay, let go. The Sugar and Grunge, I am going to show it to you right now. Delilah, you got to scoot over just a tiny bit. Nope, 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 right there. This is the Sugar and Grunge from Blend Money. Lord have mercy. Okay, so the story behind this, come here, ma'am. The story behind this is that Maggie had to discontinue it because she was being sued over using the word grunge. I believe that's the case with that one. And I'm like, really, really now? Are you going to trademark that word? You can't. It, it, it's an era. It's a time and place in history in the 90s, like sugar and grunge. Oh, are you leaving? Yeah, leaving. Bye. Bye. Okay. Sorry. She wanted to come say hi. So anyway, sugar and grunge. Okay, so here we go. Um, here it is, like I said, okay. Oh, uh, this is my favorite blood metal palette. It's so good. Everything works together. I'm not, I'm not joking you. Now, obviously, I do my makeup a certain kind of way, so I know what to do when I open this. But the perfect gradient, the shimmers are really good in this one. Shimmers are improving over time. They really, really are. My favorite shimmers that she's done are from the All Done Up palette. But here you go. This is absolutely stunning. I love it. Oh, and it just kills me. It pains me that she had to discontinue that for that reason. It just, it's, it's obnoxious and stupid. Okay, now last but not least. All right. Uh, Color popped, I don't understand. They have these palettes that they've had for a million years. Like the Whatever palette and... The California Dream, uh, listen to me. They discontinued the Lust for Dusk, and I am so salty, like salt and vinegar, like that pucker face, like, like why would you do that? Why? I, okay, I, I already own this. On one of my jaunts to TJ Maxx, I think the first one, the first one where I realized they had a color pop, I saw this palette. I was like, somebody's gonna get lucky. Somebody's really gonna get lucky and get this palette. Now, this was the neutral palette I was talking about, you know, um, when I was mentioning the Sultry palette, the other neutral palette that I absolutely love and adore. This is subtly colorful. It is romantic. 
it is romantic it's a romantic palette very romantic very feminine very pretty um, it's like a perfect I don't know bridal palette I, hey wedding season I'm probably gonna do a bridal palette video but anyway this is so good um, I do wish a couple of these shades were more saturated but all in all mmm it is an it is a beautiful beautiful dream you can go cool you can go warm you can do color you can do neutral and you can do a colorful look that's not overwhelming so a lot of people don't want to wear color because it's too overwhelming this is the perfect palette for somebody who wants to try color but doesn't want it to be overwhelming lust for dusk okay so my friends those were 10 palettes well more than 10 because I mean I did the um, Kaleidos but I counted them all as one that was um, those were palettes that um, I wish had not been discontinued because really truthfully like I know things can't stay around forever and I did not mention any collaboration palettes because to me that's not fair because we know those aren't ever gonna come back but these never had to leave you know uh, the collaboration palettes I understand that so I didn't those weren't I, I decided not to mention any of those because if you guys want to know the 10 collab palettes 10 collab palettes that or five maybe five collab palettes I wish were still around some of them are still around but most of them are not I can do that too all right you guys if you made it hmm, all the way to the end of this video leave me a skier now i know we're in spring but this is the whistler snow lodge palette so leave me a little skiing person a little person skiing okay if you made it all the way to the end of this video and i thank you so much for watching all the way to the end i do appreciate it it means a lot to me and you guys are awesome and amazing so i'm going to leave you now and i'm going to say boy hey finger hearts i purple you you're awesome and amazing i love you all so so much and i do want you to remember that you love yourself you be your own unique person you be your own unique you fill your cup and make you know make sure that you are ready to go back out in the world and spread that happiness and joy and love to others around you because you should love others as Jesus has loved you and you want to treat others as you would like to be treated it's very important we're a lot of different people in this world we're not all the same we're all going to disagree on a lot of things but that doesn't mean we can't still love one another keep that in mind okay you guys so God bless y'all I hope you all had a great Mother's Day, and I will catch you in my next video. Okay, TTFN.